Hey YouTube, Star Wolf 81 with yet another figure review for you guys today. Today I'm going to be reviewing the Marmite Godzilla 1993 or Rado So you can see this guy's really nicely painted. Black vinyl with metallic green and blue highlights. Gold on the nails. The dorsal spikes super sweet super awesome right here um, I feel that this is one of the underrated marmots doesn't get uh, as much love as some of the other guys but uh, I love it I completely love the thing the only quarrel that I have with this thing or not even a quarrel just that it's different it's just that the head is so small now there's a swivel here or, or a joint right at the bottom of the head right, where the neck meets the head and that's very different as far as for you know marmots and gojis go which also um it's it's weird that his head is just so small in comparison with his body usually marmots have a bigger head on them but still awesome piece nonetheless I was I acquired this guy from uh, Brandon Shields of the Godzilla Collectors Group. Thank you very much, brother. Super awesome cat. Um, and yeah, I was looking for his header. I couldn't find it, but it's this exact same one. This one's from the Vinyl Wars series. And this is actually the one from the new Howler. I'll be doing a review on him pretty soon too. But you know the X right there for the Marmot. All the different makes here because you know Vinyl Wars recreates everything from Bullmark, M1, Marusan, you know, and it's just a, a more uh, a Metacom release which is easier to acquire here in the States. Let me give you a shot of the feet here. There you go, Marmot Japan, bam, awesome, very nice. He's got the footprint on him and everything. Stuff that they didn't really have to do. You go to the other side of the tail. And then, yeah, just very awesome figure. I'll give you a shot of his back. Very menacing looking. I love the back shot on this guy. Again, this guy is from Godzilla vs. Mecha Godzilla. Godzilla 1993. Uh, another very interesting thing to look at when you're looking at this figure. Is that this guy is actually an open mouth but it's solid right up in there so it's not it's open mouth but you know it's casted or molded with a solid mouth I think they would have made it tons better if they would have uh, you know hollowed that out but oh well that's what we get and uh, for size comparison here I thought it appropriate to uh, bring out the guy who I just reviewed his counterpart Mecha Godzilla, you see this size up very nicely, but again, you know, the, the hit kind of makes that difference. Very nice right here. These guys are super epic together. Yeah, this guy's black vinyl. Take this guy out of the way right here. Very fantastic, very short, stubby tail, but it's done really nicely. One of my favorite um, marmot sculpts would have to be the Mirigoji. I'm completely in love. But what makes it difficult is that his tail is off to one side. I believe it's to the right. And whenever you're putting them in your display, it just makes it really hard, you know, to get the maximum amount of space. When their tails are going back, just as this guy is, straight back, it's real easy. I'm going to take you guys in for a closer look here. At the details on this guy, as you can see, the colors really pop on him. Very awesome, very, very awesome. I have to say, Godzilla 1993 is one of my favorites in the Hazy era. Very righteous movie. He is just super, super awesome. Thank you very much, Brandon. And again, every every bit of these guys 
are detailed. You can see the jaw right there, right under, leading to the throat. Very awesome, very amazing figure. Look at that. These things are truly, truly works of art. Very amazing, very awesome. The way they make all these things. He's got silver right there, right inside the eyes. His black pupils. Looks like it needs a little bit of touching up right there in the red inside the mouth. That's not, not such a big deal. Now one thing I do like to do, a little piece of advice here, uh, to keep my um, staples intact, I pretty much end up folding them into the header card and placing them in the bag. So they're right there, that way I can't lose them. And any extras I place in the bag. Another thing that I've started doing since I can't really read Japanese is that I'll put a piece of paper and mark what it is. As you guys can see, that's uh, for the black howler. <laughs> that's a little piece of advice there. There you guys go. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this review. Marmot Godzilla 1993, Rado Goji, for your pleasure. Keep the Kaiju Faith alive, guys. I'll be bringing more constant reviews for you in the new future. Might even make another one today. Take care of yourselves, take care of each other, keep the Kaiju Faith alive. Remember, like, comment, and subscribe. Take care, guys. Bye.